Hey guys, welcome to the most anticipated video of the year for me. It's a lipstick declutter, in case you can't tell. I have too much lipstick, so we're going to declutter this bad boy down. I kind of already started a declutter pile over here. So I used to be obsessed with the Jouer um, lip toppers, and I really am not so obsessed with them anymore, so I bought like all of the shades when they came out this is um, skinny dip this is the one I was most obsessed with and I totally stopped using them just went like cold turkey they're really nice and then I also bought their metallics which like I don't even like metallic lips so that's a declutter and then this gross thing I don't even know what this is but it's by Bite Beauty and I don't like it um, Wet n Wild Metallic Lipstick, again, why? Uh, this is an eyeshadow, so throw that away. I don't really like this lip gloss. I bought it during one of the Sephora sales. This is one of Sydney Grace's um, lipstick um, lip gloss formulas. Not a huge fan, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. Another Wet n Wild. And then this is by the brand Be Elegant. Be Elegant? I don't know. I bought a ton of their lipsticks because they have like a really cool like yellowy undertone lipstick and I did not like it so you might see more of them I might have already moved them to a get rid of pile so if you don't see them just know not my favorite so those are kind of gonna go off screen over there so it's it's nutty it's nutty okay so I'm gonna get rid of these two these are from the brand Amy Hearts Beauty um, these came out with their beach collection I think and I don't really love these colors, so I'm going to go ahead and put them in the declutter tray. Um, here is a Wet n Wild lipstick. So I really like these. I know some people don't really love Wet n Wild. Uh, but these are like the best drugstore liquid lipsticks. They're like five bucks. I really like this red shade. I'm going to need to pair this down like a hundred times over. So we'll see. I should probably sort by color. I don't know what I'm doing, obviously. So bear that in mind oh i also have this collection of um lip pencils that i never use for anything because i'm not really a lip pencil person so that'll be interesting oh and then i also sorted like my interesting shades so i have all my jeffree star liquid lipsticks some weird colored ones from wet n wild this weird green from ColourPop. this periwinkle and then this Really cool shade from Jeffree's last holiday collection called Karma. It's a really cool green. It's like a dirty olive. So those are going to go off screen as well. Oh, we got reds. Here's another Wet n Wild red. These like really stay put. So, okay, here's like a magenta from Jeffree Star. That one feels pretty dry. What is this color? Masochist. I went through a phase with Jeffree Star where I bought all of his liquid lipsticks. So at some point, you know, I need to pare it down. I'm so attached to my MAC lipsticks, but like Modesty, this is the first shade I ever got from MAC. But I think it's time to let go. I just never use bullet lip. Oh, this color is pretty. This is MAC Whirl. That's a pretty nude. I might keep that. I just toss Modesty, but I think I might keep Whirl. Okay, this is another Wet n Wild. Ooh, that's a pretty pink. This is called Berry Recognize. So this might be a maybe um, shade. I don't know. So we'll put that over there. More reds from J Star. This is Red Drum. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, keep. This color looks interesting. This is Designer Blood. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a dark red. We're going to be here for a while. I hope you guys are ready for this. Okay. This is from J-Star's collab with Manny. Um, I didn't really love this shade, but this is the only shade I really liked compared to everything else they did. It's I'm Shook. Mm. Okay, we'll keep that for now. I really like Jeffree's liquid lipstick collection. This is Calabasas. Um... It's like a mauve pink. It's kind of pretty, so we'll keep that. Okay, then we have 
uh, Checkmate. This is from a holiday collection. Ooh, that's a pretty red. I like that. That's almost like a summer red. Then we have the shade Unicorn Blood. That's like a pretty red brown color. Can you guys see all those? I hope you can see my swatches. I want to swatch everything um, because I'm not sure. So this is the maybe pile. I need to make a maybe pile. That's the maybe pile. Um, this is what? Oh, this looks brand new. Uh, this is a creme sheen called Crosswire. Yeah, this is brand new. It's like a pretty peachy color. I think I'm just going to give that to somebody. Uh, this is pretty. What is this? This is, oh, this is Whirl. My maybe pile. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, here's another one. Oh, this is pretty too. This is a, uh, Amorous. I really like this color. Is this... It's, it's got like a little bit of a Jaclyn Hill lipstick moment going. It's a little bit got like some droplets on it, but I think I'm going to hold on to that. My mom might like that. This I think I'm going to get rid of. This is a L'Oreal. I like this color, but I don't love this formula. It's the L'Oreal. Uh, I don't even know what these are called. I don't know, but it's in the shade Explore. They have some really cool colors, and then this is another drugstore lippy that I picked up. I thought this was kind of drying, but I really like this color. This is called Globetrotter, and this is like a newer shade from this Maybelline Super Stay line. So I'm going to put this in the maybe pile because I don't really have a lot of drugstore except for ColourPop, if that even counts as drugstore. So... Um, I have this Belle lipstick. This is definitely like a collector piece um, just from the Disney collection. Uh, this is definitely a maybe because I didn't really buy it to use it. I just bought it to kind of keep, so that's kind of wacky of me. Um, so I'm going to go into this. I'm going to use this basket for my maybes. And, okay. I have some things. What is this? This is a ultra glossy lip from ColourPop. Oh boy. I don't really love glossy lips. This is like a cute peachy color. It's called Fresco. I'm going to put that in the giveaway pile. This is a ultra blotted lip that I bought in May of 2016 because I got because I got a little smart with my makeup collection because I buy so much makeup that I decided to put dates on stuff just so I could keep track of when I was getting this stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that um, I don't love this formula this is uh, the just a tint formula from ColourPop um, I believe these are brand new Oh, I could give these to my mom she might really like she might really like this shade. So I'm just going to put that in the giveaway pile and then sort it out when she gets here. This is my favorite Buxom lip gloss. This is in the shade Dolly. And I feel like I could almost like use this up. It's such a beautiful color. And it's like really like getting empty. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's kind of funny. Wow. I never thought I'd live to see that day. So I'm going to put this in my yes gloss pile which i don't have a bin for yet but it's coming maybe you can do this bin. so i picked this up during urban decay when they did um the john michelle basquiat collection such a pretty color it's called epigram i don't think you can buy this anymore but i really like the shade so i'm going to put it in the i think this is a oops i think this is a yes for the nudes but for now i think i'm going to put it in the maybe pile I want to get, oh, I love, 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 love my Pat McGrath lip glosses. This is in the shade Flesh 4. I could swatch this for you guys, but I've talked about this so, so much in my videos. I love her glosses. I would like to buy more, but there's not any shades that are really calling my, my attention right now. And then this is Flesh Fantasy, which is a beautiful gloss for tan skin, which is what I have. I bought these Sephora minis thinking I would use them, but I don't really use them that much. So I think I should just get rid of them and give them to my friends. Um, I love these. These are like a mini set by Give Me Glow, but I don't think I love all the shades as equally. Um, if I had to pick off the top of my head, this is the shade Dirty Pumpkin, which my friend Hannah Louise Poston saw me wear and like she was obsessed with it. <laughs> 
it's a pretty color. Actually, these seem pretty dry. Wow. I don't know. Maybe it's time for me to let it go. I really want Dirty Pumpkin in a full size. Um, so maybe I'll be motivated to do that for this holiday. I love a good terracotta shade. You guys will see that um, when you see what is coming up. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like the color of my nail. Do you guys see that? That's called Pumpkin Spice. <gasps> I kind of want to keep it. I kind of want to keep it fall. Okay, I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. This, I feel like I have a jillion times over this color. Um, this is called Girls Night. And that was a little set that I bought on Give Me Glow's website. These I won't get rid of because my friend Angie just gave me these. These are her favorite lipsticks from H&M. Well, not her favorite colors, but she like picked these up for me because she really likes this formula. So I have um, Wellies and Tweed, which is this beautiful color. These are actually really comfy too. So I'm going to keep these for sure. This I haven't even used yet. This is called Cream Chestnut. And then I have this shade, which I have worn. It's called um, Lady of the Manor. It's like a pretty dark brown. So I'm going to be keeping those three. So let me just clear up another. This is my bullet lipstick keep pile. Okay, we're making progress. So I have this red from ColourPop. This is a bullet lipstick in the shade Super Bloom. I really love like a hot coral for the summertime. Um, that's like one of my favorite things to wear. Um, so this can maybe go in the maybe pile, not sure. This is um, the shade, what is this called? Faded Clementine from um, M Cosmetics. And my friend, again, Hannah Louise posts and raves about M Cosmetics Infinite liquid lip clouds or whatever these are called and I haven't had this for a very long time so I'm gonna keep this and keep trying it that's a beautiful shade and I want to do um, a fall recommendation list for tan skin so I'm gonna hold on to that because I think this will be a top contender for that video um, here's one of my favorites this is a dupe I think for faded clementine okay it's a little bit warmer but this is from Morphe. Morphe makes some amazing liquid lipsticks. These are $10, and I love some of the shades I have. You guys will see them throughout this video. This is the shade Spicy. I've worn this a lot in videos and on Instagram, so that's definitely going in my fall recommendation video. Okay, I really like the So Juicy glosses, so I will keep this one. This is the shade Beachwood, I don't have a ton of these, um, but I do really like the clear shade and this shade, so I'm going to put them in my Yes Gloss pile. Here's more mini from Sephora. I'm just going to put them, I just need to, I just can't, I can't do it. This is another one from Amy Hearts Beauty. I'm going to put that in my declutter pile. Here's another great terracotta shade. You guys see? The obsession is real. Wow, those three are all the same. So if you guys need like a high end, a middle, and a um, dupe, or they're actually similar price. I think the M Cosmetics and Jeffree Star are the same price. Um, Morphe is a little bit cheaper. So this is the shade Pumpkin Pie. I don't know if he came out with this uh, permanently, but looks like this was a holiday color. So I got three shades that are just the same, but I love terracotta shades and obviously if you guys remember <laughs> if you remember this one as you can see I've got a sick obsession with those colors so I'm gonna put that in a pile there okay this is another hot orange obsession deal this is um color pop ultra matte and I got this in the summer it's called bugaboo um so it's like a hot orange shade oh there it is it's a hot orange shade I'm gonna put that in with my reds and reds pile just for you know ease um here is a ultra matte from ColourPop in the shade uh controla i got this in the summer as well i love ultra blotted lips paired with a good lip gloss this is definitely a color i think i'll pick in the summertime so i'm just gonna put it over there here's another ultra blotted in the shade swing away i think these are from the watermelon collection if i remember correctly that one I don't necessarily love, so I'm going to maybe put that in my maybe pile. This is the e.l.f. 
liquid lipstick remover. It kind of works, but I never really use it. So I'm going to put that in my get rid of pile. Okay, guys. So here is, oh my God, this is a regret. This is Dose of Colors Bow Something from the Minnie Mouse collection. I thought this might work for me. But I don't actually really like... Okay, so here is a makeup regret. This is from the Dose of Colors Mini Collection. Here's the color. It's a little concealer lip on me. So I think one of my lighter skin tone friends would really like this. Plus the packaging is adorable. So I'm going to put that in my giveaway pile. Here's another little Sephora Mini. I think what I'll do is just like have them come over and pick stuff out. So this is a ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. It's like a hot pink. I thought this might be fun for the summer. I'm going to keep this. It's called Good Karma. Just putting it in that colorful pile. Um, this is another Amy Hearts Beauty. I'm going to put that in my donate pile. I have this color. Okay, these two are from the Samantha March um, collab she did with Ofra. I'd never really tried anything from Ofra before, so I was really excited that I got the chance to try Pasadena and Los uh, Olas and there's another shade. It was a little bit too light for me So I have it in my pile of lipsticks that I will let like people use if I'm doing makeup on others but I love these two shades from um, Ofra um, Pasadena and Los Olas Los sorry La Las Olas um, from Ofra. These are so pretty and I think I'm definitely gonna keep these and put them in my fall favorites Lippies video. So I'm, I'm starting up a pile for that. This is a Morphe liquid lip. This is in the shade Jealousy. Um, it looks very similar to Morphe, um, sorry, to the Ofra lippy I just swatched. I wear this again all the time. This is one that I reach for in my everyday makeup. So I'm going to hold on to this and I need to start a nude pile. Where should I start? My pile? Okay. We're just going to go like that. <laughs> nude pile started. Okay. So let's see here. Okay. Let's talk about some Huda. I haven't talked about Huda in a while. This is Huda in... Icon. I don't have a lot of her liquid lipsticks in full size. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a really pretty pinky nude. I'm going to keep that like a lot. Here is a Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade Bloodshot. I think I'm going to keep all my Morphe ones because they're such good formula. So I'm going to put that in with my reds and pinks pile under the nudes. Here's another Morphe Red. This is a pretty shade for the summer. Again, like I said, I'm really into hot coral type shades for the summer. So this is Hot Shot by Morphe. Here's another dark one. I think I bought as many colors from them as I could. Ooh, this looks like a pretty fall color. <gasps> Ooh, I'm going to have to try that. This is Nibble. I'm going to put that in my fall picks and I'm going to test it out and then see if I'm going to recommend that for you guys. I guess I could throw this shade in there too. This is um, Bloodshot. I think that might be a fun fall lip too. Okay, this is a Maybelline lip that my friend Hannah Louise Poston recommended. This is Hot Chocolate by Maybelline. I love this color so much paired with the So Juicy in the Clear shade by Colourpop, that's like such a good combo. So I'm going to put that in my favorites for fall. I have some Pat McGrath liquid lipsticks and I honestly didn't really like this formula. So even though it pains me because this was quite expensive, I'm just going to go ahead and put this in my declutter. And I just got to. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep swimming in lip product and I just have to be cutthroat because I don't like... Uh, lipsticks isn't my favorite. Um, some people love eyeshadow, some people love blush, some people love highlighter. Mine is eyeshadow, so I just need to keep like my absolute favorite things and use them instead of like hoarding stuff just for the sake of hoarding them. So that's the mentality I'm going into this with. So here is a liquid lip from, I think this is from Kathleen Lights. Is this an ultra blotted? Uh, yes, it's Ultra Matte by Kathleen Lights in the shade Little Star. I don't know if you can buy this anymore, but that's a really pretty 
color that I would wear for fall, so I'm going to put that in my little fall pile. Here are some of my colored rain liquid lipsticks. I really like these. Such a fun um, formula. I don't know that people really talk about them too, too much, but they are available, I believe, at um, Target stores. You can buy colored rain's liquid lipstick, so if you had your eye on that you might want to check them out at your local target so i'm just gonna go ahead and give myself some swatches so these are the first three shades i really like that orange i definitely don't have anything like that in my collection it's like a corally color so i'm gonna throw that in my hot pinks and orange pile and i like this pink too so i'm gonna put that in there and I like the brown, so I'm going to put that in my fall shades pile. And then I have three more like nudes. So I have um, Satin Creme, Latte, and Mars. So wow, these look so similar. <laughs> and I've had these liquid lipsticks for quite some time. This one, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in. It's like too light. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it pile. That one's kind of pretty. It's like a pinky mauve. And we have this color um i'm just gonna go ahead and declutter these because i like them um but i know that maybe somebody else can use them or my mom or somebody i'll make sure they all go to a good home but i'm trying to be i know how much i have that you guys can't see on screen so i'm trying to be really ruthless here okay let me grab these quick so I grabbed this color. This is like one of my favorite fall shades. I've been wearing this so, so much in videos. This is a ultra blotted in the shade Cypress Chill. And it's like the most beautiful, like, un, um, into, it's like a non-intimidating berry color. And again, I love the ultra blotted with glossy lips. I've been wearing that a ton in videos. If you guys ever see a shade, a rosy shade like this, it's this one. So I'm going to put that in my fall pile because I definitely wanted to talk to you guys about it. This is my one of my favorite nudes, all-time favorite. Actually, these two are my two favorite nudes of all time for tan skin. I have two from Morphe. I never, 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 never thought I would live to see the day where I recommended two Morphe liquid lipsticks. But you guys, I get so many questions on this shade True Story. Anytime I'm wearing it in a video, I see people commenting saying, what is that on your lips? What is that on your lips? And 90% of the time it's Morphe True Story. I've not found a more flattering nude, like a true nude for my skin tone than True Story. So I love that. And then this other shade is called Peanut. And that's beautiful too, so I'm going to throw that into my fall recommendations. These are my everyday recommendations. Fall, winter, spring, summer. I love these two shades. Okay, so I got another ultra matte lip. This is in the shade Wild Nothing. ColourPop has really updated their liquid lipstick formula. So if you originally tried their liquid lipsticks and you didn't like them, try them now because I swear there's a formula change. So I really like this while nothing. I'm going to put that in my nudes to keep. And then I just got this Morphe lipstick from when I was at Ipsy. It was in my goodie bag and I really want to try the formula. I don't really love this color, but I'm going to put that in my keep uh, bullet lipstick section. And then this is my new baby that Angie got me. This is the Fantastic from Linda Hallberry. Um, I wore this in a video. It's like a cute muted purpley color. So I'm going to put that in my keep bullet lipstick pile as well. And then I really love the Anastasia gloss, you know, glosses. And I got this like mini set. I don't think I've used this color very much or at all. Maybe I have. Um, but I really like the Anastasia glosses. So I'm going to put this in my keep gloss section. I don't have a ton of glosses. So I'm going to keep this in my keep section. Um, I've also used this on like brides and stuff. And people have taken my minis from me because they really like them too. I just got this from Shop Miss A because I saw Julia Mazzucato talking about these. I'm wearing it on my lips today and I don't hate it. So I'm just going to put that in my keep gloss pile. So here are my tones, you guys. Like, if you had to, like, if you had to pick, like, who Karen Harris is in, like, liquid lipsticks, these are my tones. So I 
you guys know, oh my gosh, I should almost wash this next to that, all those pumpkin colors. I love that. This is ColourPop Floor. I think this is from the collection they did with um, Becky G. And I really liked all these colors. It must be like a tan skin thing. This is uh, Secreto. It's like a beautiful, again, like tan brown. Of course, I'm going to keep that. I'm putting all of these in my like recommend pile for fall. This color, I think I could live without. This is Besame, which doesn't that mean like love or something? <gasps> that one's kind of pretty too. Okay, I like that one too. Do I have a good red in my fall pile? I'm just going to put this in my fall pile and I will evaluate later. This I kind of bought again to try out a lick. A lipstick formula from the drugstore. This is a new Maybelline formula. This is pretty nice So I'm gonna put this in my nudes. Um, this is the shade. It's the shade live on the edge Super cute. So I'm gonna put that in my keep nude section. Okay guys I think my pajamas are just gonna have to be in the video because my leg is falling asleep So that's what we're gonna do for a little bit longer. Okay, so here is another um, Buxom lippy. This is a lip gloss in the shade hot toddy I love these glosses. I picked them up during an Ultra 21 Days of Beauty sale. And as you can see, I've as you can you see that? Like, I've definitely used this gloss. So I'm gonna keep it and put it in my gloss pile. And then I have two um ultra blotted lippies from ColourPop. Clearly I'm obsessed. We have Sleepy Eves and Ocean Avenue. I'm gonna have to do like a another declutter, I think, of the reds, but I love that so so much. There's a swatch of it, so I'm going to put that in my keep and maybe recommend for fall pile. This is a pretty color. This is another color I'm going to love wearing in the summertime. Apparently, I just love oranges, so Ocean Avenue, I think, with a gloss is going to be gorgeous in summer, so it's going to go in that colorful pile. Okay, this is my maybe gloss lip liners declutter. Here, let's put some over here. So this is my lip liners. This is my maybe pile. Keeping traditional liquids. This is gloss. Okay, so a big tray now in front of me. Here it is. So we need to go through this. Okay, so ultra blotted. What are these called? These are blotted lips. So these were how the blotted lips started. And they were in like these... Okay, here's more hot coral shades. This is so pretty. I remember wearing this. This is from the Alexis Wren collection, isn't it? And again, so pretty, just paired with a gloss. I'm gonna put that in my hot gloss section. I really like the Kylie um, glosses. Say what you will about her makeup, but the glosses when she first launched them are really good. These are from the original launch. I never bought any more. So I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna put that in my gloss section. This is crazy. Okay, I think I'm going to get rid of this. This is a ColourPop Ultra Blotted, and I feel like I've already swatched this shade a hundred times in my hand, so I'm going to put that in the giveaway pile. Okay, so this is controversial, but I do have a lot of Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. She was, like, one of the first liquid lipsticks formulas that made, like, really beautiful nudes. Like, this is, like, a fall palette right here. I'm holding in my hand, like, my perfect shades for fall, so I'm not going to get rid of any of these. I'm totally going to keep these and use them up, and these are gorgeous. I love them so, so much. And I think I'm just going to get rid of the Jouer liquid lipsticks because as much as I like them... I don't love all the shades I have. Here's more of them. I don't love these shades, and so I think somebody might be able to get better use out of them, so I'm going to put them in my donate slash giveaway slash figure it out pile. Okay, so here's some pretty, like, Huda strobe thingies, lip strobes. So beautiful, but I don't think I've ever used them. Okay, I maybe have used this one. I don't like this color, so I'm just going to put that in my donate pile. This one just looks really cool, so I'm going to swash that and see how it makes me feel. I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't know what to do with this. It's not my vibe. I'm sorry. If you, like, really wanted me to wear um, stroby <laughs> lippies, not my vibe. Okay, so here is a dark, dark brown from Kat Von D. Holy crap. What is this color called? It's called Damned. It's like a licorice, very red, dark color. It's pretty. I don't think I'll wear it, though, so I'm going to get rid of it. 
Here is Hawkwind. I love this color from Kat Von D. I'm gonna put that in my keep pile because like I said, I'm not just gonna throw things away because she decided she wasn't gonna vaccinate her kids. Okay, so the last thing that happened was I swatched the Wet n Wild shade in, this is called Caramel Cake. And that's a beautiful brown color. So I think that might be a fun one for me to see if I can recommend for winter, spring, summer, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Okay, this is Create, no, nope, Split by ColourPop. Looks pretty fucked up, if you ask me. Um, it's like a pretty berry tone. Why do I keep buying these? It's an ultra blotted. It's beautiful, but I have this color a hundred times over. So I'm going to put that over there in the going bye-bye pile. This is Ultra Blotted Lip In Slide. I don't even know if they make these. This, it's pretty, but again, I don't need it, so I'm gonna put it in there. My friends are gonna have such a good time going through this. So here are some more of the Ultra, or the ColourPop Blotted Lips in their original form. I picked these up in, again, May of 2017. So handy to have the date written down. Um, I really, really like these. These are definitely something I gravitate towards in the summertime. This shade, hmm. Oh, that's pretty. Cute. Okay, might keep that. This shade is clearly effed, so I'm just gonna put that there. And then this shade also, oh God. Well, I hope you guys caught that. These definitely need to go in the trash. They look a little ratchet. Um, but I'm gonna keep these two. I'm gonna put them in my colorful pile because they were kind of colorful. Um, so I'm gonna put them in the pink pile. Okay, bring on all the mini hudas because I bought all of her little lip sets when they came out. What? When was it? I don't even know, but this is like sick, right? Like I have a problem, but I have all her colors because I just was like, why buy the full size when I can buy the mini? So this is Trophy Wife. I like this color. It's like a pretty, it's a pretty berry shade. Okay, maybe I should think this through. I think I have Trophy Wife in a full size. I'm gonna put that in the giveaway pile. These shades look too light for me. I need to make my Caucasian friends happy. Oh God, that's too light. So this is Crush by Huda. You see that? That's like a foundation for somebody. No, thank you. We gotta get cutthroat here. Bombshell is, I believe, a good nude for tan skin. It's all right. I don't love it. I'm gonna put it in that pile. This is Girlfriend. Is this a good nude for tan skin? It's okay. I don't want it. <laughs> okay, we got Wifey. Wifey looks light too. Too light, don't love it declutter this is like a dark purple shade called material girl if i could get my money back i would <laughs> oh that's pretty it's like a purple color but i don't need it so it's gonna make all my friends happy we have what is this color trendsetter trendsetter is tan girl friendly i believe yes pretty color i love it gonna put it in the key boot section this one looks too light i can tell already sugar mama Ew, why did I buy these? Too light. Friend in need is gonna get that. Uh, Muse, it's like a pretty mauve color. That's kind of nice, I can keep that. It's nice to have minis so you can throw them in your purse. So putting that in the nude section, here is a red called Famous. God, my back is killing me, guys. That's pretty. Ooh, I like that. Okay, we're gonna put that in the red section. Got five more to go. Okie dokie, let's see here. We got the shade Spice Girl. I think I like Spice Girl. It's like a pretty, oh yeah. We like it. We're gonna put this in the fall section. I have a lot of fall lippies to recommend to you guys. Probably gonna have to shorten that list because I won't have time to test it. It'll be winter by the time I know that list finalized. So Flirt, I like. It's also a, a nude. I'm gonna put that in my nude pile. Got a red from Huda called Heartbreaker. This is why I don't buy liquid lipsticks or I buy like ColourPop. That's cute, but I feel like I have that shade. 
and I like the Jeffree Star formula, to be honest. Okay, this is Vixen. It's like a dark brown. Ooh, that's pretty. But I don't need it. And this is like a metallic called Showgirl. Ew. I don't like metallic lips. Why would I buy this? I'm so proud of myself. This is crazy. Okay. More controversies. I got Deceased. I don't think I like this color, which is why it was in like the condemned section. No, it's like a weird purple pass. Um, I like this color. This is Hot Fire by Desi and Katie. The formula looks a little gunky, so we're going to throw that away. Okay, here are my mini lippies from Miss Kat Von D. So I'm going to swatch those quick to decide what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. What was up with that? Have I never opened this color? This is called Witches. Is this a black? Ooh, that's kind of pretty. I might put this in my weird lip lipstick section. This looks way too light. Mm, what is this? Ludwig? No, thank you. Come again. This is Lovecraft. I think this is going to be a little too pink for me. Oh, that's actually kind of pretty. I'm going to put that in here. We got... This one's missing a shade name. Okay, I like it. We can keep that. This color is kind of like disease. Very like not flattering for a tan girl. So this is the shade Sanctuary. I'm going to pass that along. I love this. I think this is Lolita 2. Such a good color. I think I have that in the full size too, but I'm going to keep that. Like it a lot. This is... Uh, Madrid. This is also a pretty color. I think it's like a darker brown. Very pretty. I'm going to keep that. I think I actually like that for fall too. It's like a really pretty shade. Okay, and then we have Exorcism, which I have in the full size, I believe. Um, but I'm going to hold on to the mini just in case. Killing it. I'm killing it, guys. I'm so killing it. Okay, so I have my last section of declutters. As you can see, these are my bougie lipsticks because I keep them in this bougie holder and they sit on my desk where I do my makeup. And we've got some Jeffree nudes on here, so this will be fun. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got Allegedly. That's pretty. It's like a typical nude for me, so I'm going to put it in my nude pile. I have Nathan. I don't think I like this color. Yeah, nope. I bought it because I thought it was like the most appealing of the ones in the family collection, but it's too light. This is Androgyny. This was like my jam when I first got into um, Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks. I would wear Androgyny all the time. I think Androgyny was like the first one I got, I think. I can't remember. I'm going to put that in the... Actually, this needs to go in the maybe section because swatching it now, I'm like, would I actually wear that color? I'm not sure. These are two Wet n Wild liquid cat suits, but these are like the glossy formula. Do I? Ooh, that's a pretty color. Oh my goodness. We need to give that another shot because I can't remember if I like it. It's Cedar Later. These are, again, $5. This is Wine is the Answer. So cute. Mm, I don't love wine is the answer, so I'm going to put that in the giveaway pile. This is going in my fall pile to try. Okay, what's this? This is one of my favorites. This is Give Me Mocha from Wet n Wild. This is a really good one again. Just a really pretty like nude shade for tan skin. So I'm going to put it in my nudes pile. This is Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. When did I wear this? Ooh, okay, too light. Don't like it giveaway pile. This is Family Jewels. Ooh, I like that color. It's pretty. It's like a brown. Then we have, this one's too light. I can just tell Daddy. Oh, this is from the Manny collab. Apparently, I was holding on to that. This is Thick as Thieves. This is pretty. I feel like I can tell that this is going to work for me. Love it. It's a nude. 
to keep that. This is Gemini. I really like this. Oh, my next favorite. Next one is my favorite. Actually, you know what? I swatched Gemini. I don't love it. No. I love Leo, though. Leo was, like, my go-to for a long time. It was, like, a good terracotta shade from him, but it's also, like, a nude, so I'm going to keep that, put, putting that in my nude section. This is from the I Love Sorry collab. I like this color a lot. It's called Aesthetic. Oh, tell me this color isn't gorgeous. I love that so, so much. Putting that in my fall pile. This is Joseph Colors Mondays. This is a really pretty shade. I love it so much. Actually, it's kind of basic. What do we think? Mm, I'm going to put it in the giveaway pile. This is, does this appeal to anyone's soul right now? My hand. Okay, I won't get rid of my Pat McGrath, just so you guys know, heads up. Okay, this is a good one too from um, Wet n Wild, Rebel Rose. Um, but I feel like, eh, yeah, we're going to put that in this pile. Yay! Okay, this I don't want to get rid of because it's NARS and it was hella expensive. This is their Audacious in the shade Jane. Oh, better put that in before I... It's just like, a, I don't need this color, but I'm going to keep it. It's going in my bullet lipstick section. I hate this color. This is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I bought this because of the hype, but I don't think it's tan girl friendly. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to sell this on my Poshmark. So if any of you, I'll sanitize it, but I'm not going to just give that away because it's expensive. So these are my Auntie Pat lippies aren't they gorgeous i love her lipsticks they're they've gone up in price so I won't, oh fuck me i won't buy more of them because listen i don't have that kind of money so these are her bombs these are so nice this is love supreme these are so extremely comfortable if you like bougie and you want like a bougie lip balm i would recommend i'm just going to show you guys the shades i have this is the clear Again, Savior in Winter. I will not repurchase these, so I'm just gonna, like, if I ever, ooh, fuck me. If I use this up, that's that, the end. You know what I mean? Oh my god, I keep dropping them. Like, I have Butterfingers. Okay, and then this is my favorite shade. Uh, gorgeous. This is the color Flush 3. I'm gonna be wearing this in the holidays. Actually, I should put that in my holiday pile. And then I have these three beauties. These are her matte creme formula, I believe. Oh, this color is so pretty. This is $19.95. This one may be a little too light for me, but I'm going to keep it because it's expensive. And, like, I'm not trying to, like, give shit away, you know? Uh, this is my favorite color. This is Flesh 3 um, in the matte formula. Oh, my God. This formula is so comfortable. Long-wearing gorgeousness. This packaging is heavenly, like, and just pretty. And then this is not the matte trance. This is the luxe trance. Um, and this is in the shade Beautiful Creature. So pretty. It's so funny because my friend Kat from Rented Fashion has all of Papa Gratz products. Like, all her products. It's nuts. Like, she just... Loves Pat McGrath so, so much. Okay, time to declutter some pencils, I think. Okay, this is a lip brush. I'm going to keep that. I don't know what that is. I've had this lip liner for so long. I probably will contract some kind of disease. Um, so I should give that away. I mean, throw it away. This is, um, yeah, look at how old this is. It's still pretty, though. Ugh, I can't do it. I can't. I just need to get rid of stuff. This is Rimmel's Lasting Finish in the shade Cafe O Latte. This is like Patrick Star made me buy it color. I don't do lip liners. I just really don't. This is Mac Whirl. Pretty, but like, I don't know. I should just back to Mac. I don't want that. This is something that came out with Pat McGrath's liquid lipsticks. I like the Huda ones. I want to keep those. And this is a universal one that came out with the brand. Do you guys remember this? OCC Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. Jaclyn Hill used to rave about this brand and their lip paints or some shit. So I'm just going to keep these three from Huda and either sell or back to Mac the rest of them. But I don't do 
liners. So this is good. Three is good. And then I can just condense that maybe with my traditional um, lipstick section that I want to keep. So um, I don't know. Should I? Oh, what about my Mammy pile? Gonna get rid of that. Gonna get rid of that. I really like this color, but I have this a hundred times over. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of. That. I'm just gonna. Uh, this one is a good drugstore. I feel like I have this color a hundred times over, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This I could gift someone, so I'm gonna put this in a giveaway. But like, maybe I'll put it in like a giveaway for my subscribers or something like that. Okay, so this is exciting, right? Like. So let me show you, I don't even know what to do. Should I count things? I don't know what to do. This is like my nude that I'm keeping and I'm gonna maybe pare this down even more after I, like now that I have like a handle on it, I can like try it more and then narrow this down. These are the lippies that I love that I picked out for possibly doing a fall lipstick recommendation for you guys, a holiday and fall. Because I love me some pumpkin colored lippies. These are my like reds and pinks that I plan on bringing out in the summertime. And then again, if I don't find myself wearing these, they're going to get tossed. Basically, I just need to go on a lipstick no buy. I did pick up two new ones from the Bye Bye Birdie collection from ColourPop, but they were kind of like more purple tone, but doing this has really made me realize I don't need any more lipsticks, which is something I kind of knew already, but it always helps to see. So traditional lipsticks and liners, and then my um, gloss collection. And then these are my weird colors, like if I ever am in a mood or it's a holiday or I wanna do something crazy, those are that. And then this is my get rid of pile. So I will put how many lips, lip products I'm getting rid of on the corner of the screen. So you guys, all those nosy people, like I know I love seeing how many lip shades people got rid of in their declutter. So I will put that number somewhere on here for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this declutter. Leave me feedback. I know you guys are gonna like this because I haven't done a video like this. I don't think I've ever filmed a lipstick declutter on my channel. So let me know what you think. I had so much fun doing this. I wanna do this with my highlighter collection because that's another one that's like out of control um, is my highlighters and it's just obnoxious. So let me know what you guys think. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys.